Welcome everyone to another informative session. Today we delve into the world of vocal cord diseases. These are conditions that can significantly affect our ability to speak and communicate, impacting our daily lives. Vocal cord diseases encompass a wide range of conditions from nodules and polyps to more complex ones like vocal cord paralysis and laryngeal cancer. In this video, we will take you through a comprehensive journey exploring the causes, symptoms, and diagnosis of these diseases. We will also delve into the various treatment options available, both medical and non-medical, to help manage and potentially overcome these conditions. Furthermore, we will discuss the potential complications that can arise if these conditions are left untreated, and most importantly, how we can prevent them. We aim to provide you with a thorough understanding of vocal cord diseases, equipping you with knowledge that could be vital for you or your loved ones. Stay tuned as we uncover the causes of vocal cord disease in our next segment. Understanding the causes of vocal cord disease is a key step towards prevention and treatment. The human voice box is a delicate mechanism that can be affected by various factors. One of the primary causes of vocal cord disease is excessive use or misuse of the voice. Singers, teachers, and public speakers who often strain their vocal cords are particularly susceptible. Another major culprit is smoking. The harmful chemicals in tobacco smoke can cause significant damage to the vocal cords over time. This not only leads to vocal cord disease, but also increases the risk of throat cancer. Certain medical conditions can also contribute to vocal cord disease. For instance, gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD, can lead to acid reflux causing damage to the vocal cords. Other conditions such as allergies, respiratory tract infections, or thyroid problems can also increase your risk. Now that we know the causes, let's move on to identifying the symptoms of vocal cord disease. Identifying symptoms early can save you from a lot of discomfort and complications. Now let's delve into the symptoms of vocal cord disease. The signs can range from subtle to severe, but some common ones stand out. Firstly, hoarseness or a raspy voice is a telltale sign. This is often accompanied by a change in voice quality, pitch, or volume. You may find that your voice sounds lower, softer, or more harsh than usual. Another symptom is a persistent sore throat or a feeling of a lump in your throat. Some people also experience frequent throat clearing and coughing. If you're a singer or use your voice a lot for work, you might notice a decreased vocal stamina. This means you may tire easily after speaking or singing. Lastly, difficulty swallowing or breathing can also indicate vocal cord disease. By recognizing these symptoms, you can seek medical help early. Let's learn about how vocal cord disease is diagnosed. Diagnosis is a crucial step in the journey towards recovery. When it comes to vocal cord disease, there are a few key methods that healthcare professionals use to identify the condition accurately. Firstly, we have the physical examination. This typically involves the doctor examining the throat and neck. They may palpate or feel the neck area to check for any lumps or abnormalities. Additionally, they might use a special mirror or a thin flexible tube with a light at the end known as an endoscope to visualize the vocal cords and surrounding areas. Next, we delve into voice evaluation. This involves a series of tests designed to assess voice quality and vocal range, including pitch and volume. The patient might be asked to speak or sing during this evaluation. It's not a singing competition, but a way to understand how the vocal cords are functioning. A speech-language pathologist often performs these tests, examining aspects such as vocal cord vibration, airflow, and tension. Then we have the imaging tests. These may include procedures like x-rays, MRI scans, or CT scans, which provide a detailed view of the throat and neck area. These images can reveal any structural abnormalities, growths, or inflammation that might be causing vocal cord disease. In some cases, a biopsy might be necessary. This involves removing a small sample of tissue from the vocal cords for further examination. This can help determine whether the disease is benign or malignant, information that is crucial for deciding the right course of treatment. Remember, these diagnostic methods are not one-size-fits-all. The choice of method depends on the individual's symptoms, medical history, and the doctor's expertise. The goal is to get a clear and accurate picture of what's happening in the vocal cords to ensure the most effective treatment plan is put into action. Accurate diagnosis leads to effective treatment. Let's explore the various treatment options available for vocal cord disease. Treatment is hope in the face of vocal cord disease. This is where the journey to recovery truly begins. Let's start by shedding light on the medical treatment options for vocal cord disease. 
The first line of defense often involves medication. Depending on the cause, doctors may prescribe antibiotics to tackle infections or steroids to reduce inflammation and swelling. Antacids can also be used to combat acid reflux, which can exacerbate vocal cord disease. As with any medication, it's crucial to follow your doctor's instructions to the letter to maximize effectiveness and minimize potential side effects. If medication isn't enough, surgery may be the next step. Procedures can range from removing polyps or nodules on the vocal cords to more complex surgeries for conditions like vocal cord paralysis. The key is to work closely with your healthcare provider to understand the procedure, the potential risks, and the expected recovery process. Now let's pivot to non-medical treatments. These are often used in conjunction with medical treatments to expedite recovery. Speech therapy is a common non-medical treatment. A certified speech-language pathologist can guide you through exercises designed to improve your voice quality, breathing, and vocal habits. This can be incredibly helpful in managing and even reversing some forms of vocal cord disease. Lifestyle changes also play a vital role in treating vocal cord disease. Simple things like staying hydrated, avoiding smoke and alcohol, and taking vocal rest can go a long way in promoting vocal cord health. Remember, your vocal cords are like any other part of your body. They need care and rest to function at their best. Finally, alternative treatments like acupuncture and herbal remedies have been explored. While these methods can provide relief, it's essential to discuss them with your healthcare provider before starting any new regimen. So there you have it. From medication to surgery, speech therapy to lifestyle changes, the treatment of vocal cord disease is multifaceted and personalized. While treatment is essential, understanding potential complications is equally important. And that's what we'll delve into next. Scene script. Knowledge is power. Knowing the complications can help in better management and prevention of vocal cord disease. Let's talk about complications first. If vocal cord disease is left untreated or poorly managed, it can lead to a number of complications. One of the most common is chronic laryngitis, an inflammation of the voice box that can cause persistent hoarseness. In some cases, untreated vocal cord disease can lead to vocal cord paralysis or even cancer. Laryngeal stenosis is another serious complication. It's a condition where the airway narrows or closes off, making it difficult to breathe. This is often a result of long-standing inflammation or injury to the vocal cords. Now let's move on to prevention. It's always better to prevent than to treat, right? To protect your vocal cords, you should avoid straining your voice. This means not shouting or yelling and not talking too much or too loudly. If you're a singer or use your voice a lot for work, Make sure to warm up your voice before heavy use and rest it regularly. Hydration is key, too. Drink plenty of water to keep your vocal cords moist and try to avoid caffeine and alcohol, which can dehydrate you. Smoking is one of the biggest risk factors for vocal cord disease, so quitting smoking or avoiding secondhand smoke can significantly reduce your risk. It's also important to maintain good overall health. This means eating a balanced diet, getting regular exercise, and getting enough sleep. All of these can help to keep your vocal cords healthy. If you have acid reflux or heartburn, managing these conditions can help to prevent damage to your vocal cords. This might mean making dietary changes or taking medication as prescribed by your doctor. Regular checkups with your doctor can also go a long way in prevention. If you're experiencing symptoms like hoarseness, a lump in your throat, or difficulty swallowing, don't ignore them. These could be signs of vocal cord disease, and early detection is key to successful treatment. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. Stay informed, stay healthy. We've covered a lot today on vocal cord disease, from understanding its causes and symptoms to discussing the diagnosis and treatment options, both medical and non-medical. We've also delved into the complications that may arise and the preventive measures to be taken. Remember, your voice is a vital part of your identity and it deserves utmost care. Thank you for joining us today. Stay tuned for more such informative sessions. Until then, take care of your health and your voice.